Hey everybody, welcome to another video by Squirrel for Book of Bearings, and this video is on how to take your OSV spec or any big block or small block nitro engine and install a fresh set of bearings. So for this video, I'm going to be using my OSV spec 0.21 here, a brand new set of Boca bearings, a pair of pliers with the tips wrapped with electrical tape, so electrical tape as well, a 2.0 and a 2.5 hex wrench, and also a bearing installation or removal tool. I'm going to use the hoodie set. So with that, let's start tearing down this engine. All right, first up, what I'm going to do is use my 2.5 hex, and I'm going to remove the screws inside the cooling head. For me, I have a 2.5. You could have a 2.0. You could have a slot or a Phillips screw. So be sure to pick the right driver of choice for your particular engine. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the screws attached to the bottom of my cooling head and I'm going to place it off to the side. That way when I pick it back up, all the screws are already in place and it's ready to be installed back onto the engine case. At this point, I'm going to remove the head shim and I'm also going to note a few things about the piston and also the engine itself. If you notice, here's my exhaust port and I have a notch in the sleeve and also an indentation in the engine case as well. This means that the notch will match up to the indentation upon rebuild. So I should align my sleeve accordingly. Also, later on I'll show you how to read the ports so that you can understand which one is the rear exhaust port so you can actually build it correctly. Next, we're going to take the, the sleeve out. I'm going to turn my crank and see if I can move it. This way I can, and as you can see my sleeve pops out just enough where I could reach under it and then pull it out. If your sleeve doesn't do this, a couple things you can do. First off, you can take your flywheel and also your clutch nut and reinstall. This will give you more torque to move your piston up and down. The other thing you can do is you can take a zip tie, fit it through the exhaust port, and then push up that way. Now if you notice, my piston is up a lot farther now. I can easily take it and start to pull it off. For reference, when we start to rebuild it, this is your exhaust port. Most exhaust ports are going to look this way. The following are going to be your intakes, and as you notice, they're at different heights. Basically for more fuel, going up to after detonation to letting your exhaust out. Next we're going to remove the engine's back plate. For me, I have a 2.0 hex. And then we're just going to pull it off. Now when we pull it off, we're going to note the markings, you typically at the top, for the top of your back plate. If your engine is not a bump start, but a pull start, rotor start, or anything with the starting device, what you'd want to do instead is remove your starting device. And the rest of this step is going to be the exact same thing, with the exception of either a starting shaft or a one-way bearing on the outside. For this, you'd want to take note which you have. For my engine, I have an external starting shaft, which means I have an internal one-way bearing. It doesn't really matter either way. The things to note is where the one-way bearing is and also the orientation of the one-way bearing. Once you have that removed, you now have the same four screws that you did on your bump start and you can start removing that way. Once you remove it, you will be at the same step as here. This next part is easiest to explain with the piston already removed. We'll go through the removal process, but first off, you have a 2.0 hex here acting as if it was the crank with the piston attached to it. We're then going to take a pair of pliers with electrical tape over 
basically the teeth of the pliers. What this does is it takes all the sharp edges out of it so it doesn't mar your piston. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab onto the piston and pull it off of the crank and then out. In order to do this we have to look at where the piston is. At the bottom it's inside a groove of the engine. So in order to remove it effectively we have to move the piston all the way up. With the piston all the way up we can then detach the piston and before we remove it, we want to make sure we note the orientation of the piston. Typically on the piston, you're going to have a longer end on one side, kind of like a helmet. That longer end is going to be the back, typically, and facing towards the exhaust port, like so. Next up, the crank slides very easily out. At this point of the removal process, we're left with just the two bearings, the internal and the external. To remove the front bearing, we're going to take the removal tool and install it onto the engine. Once it's installed, we're going to apply even pressure to all sides. This is key here. You want even pressure to all sides of the bearing, not any one particular point, which means you don't want to use a punch, you don't want to use anything else like that. You want to use the proper tools. As we start to tighten this, the bearing is going to catch itself inside this piece right here. And as we remove it, our bearing is right there. For the internal bearing, we're going to use the internal bearing removal tool. This part has two different adjustments on it. The first one adjusts this, which will actually control how much of that bearing it's going to grip. The next part is going to apply pressure against the engine case, which will thus remove the bearing from the case. For the removal, the tool is entered into the back of the engine, and then from there, the tool is expanded out to grip onto the bearing. Once the bearing's been gripped, and then we're going to turn. And there's the, the bearing from the inside. So with that, that's how you remove all your bearings and all the engine internals. Now we can go on to the installation process and replace with good bokeh bearings. So with that, thanks for watching everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Take it easy.